Hey, uh, Teresa and Suzanne, thanks for your time yesterday. So here is uh, an estimate somebody handed me yesterday. I think it was Mike. Uh, and uh, here's how it would work. Pretty simple. Uh, I've already got this set up as a template so I can come in here each time. For each job, all they would have to do is come in here and say, this is my asphalt square foot. This is my base square foot. This is my asphalt depth and base depth. And if there's a couple of different uh, areas and they're different, then I would come down here and just have, uh, you know, asphalt square footage area one or something like that area two. So they drop in their square footage. They drop in the inches of depth. After that, the system basically takes over. Uh, and I'll just uh, open this up so you can see how I got here. Uh, show my formula real quick. And the formula that I got off the internet, whether it's right or wrong, but this is what uh, they got from two or three different places, was uh, square foot divided by nine to get square yards times the inches divided by 110 uh, times 110, which is the density, and then divided by 2,000 gives me the number of tons. So I'm off like five tons on this item, and I think four or five tons on this item. It's a little different, but uh, there's my prices that I was quoted for the mix and the, and the base. I come in here and I just drop in my number of hours. So I think there's 32 here, there's 80 on this one. And I think we had eight hours of travel time. Uh, and this, this is just like you do any job. I need this this paving spread for two days. I need the roller for two days. I need the water truck for one day. And I need the paver for a day. I need an outside rental for a day. And I have a weed abatement. And I, this job, it was, let's say $425. At that point, no different than filling in that piece of paper. It's everything that you've done on the piece of paper. I've just basically done uh, by filling in these numbers here with the descriptions already typed out. I recalculate this. Uh, we use overhead. We use markups instead of margins, so I, it's a little different. Uh, I still come out to your number at the bottom. It now marked up this cost to this extended price. This is the cost code where I'm going to put the budget, whether it's material budget or a labor budget. And then in here... Oops, I forgot to show a column, so hang on one second. Apologize. Uh, notes, I'm going to come in here and say uh, this is four men one day. Just abbreviate it out. Could write it out if I wanted to, but pretty clear. Four men one day. This item requires ten men for one day, okay? I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to here to my reports. I have an operations report. I now know how many tons of mix I'm supposed to have, how many hours of labor, it is for operations report is four men one day. This item requires 10 men for one day. So now uh, whoever does that can take that out to the other part and then they start picking the guys uh, and the actual pieces of equipment. But I know what I need uh, right here. It tells me what pieces of equipment right from the bid. I've hid the cost and the markup and the profit so nobody sees that. Just gives them the quantities directly from that worksheet. This is the operations report. That goes that somebody will then take that and I can't I apologize, there were so many names yesterday, I can't remember. Uh, they would come over here to the daily field report and say for tomorrow, let's say make this for the 14th, uh, it's job 2040, uh, it's a paving job. And now I just come down here and start picking my employees. So this is, I needed four men. So there's three, and there's four, okay? There's the four guys. It's on Costco 2601, asphalt paving. Similar to Excel, control C, copy this down, done. And then all somebody has to do now is come in and put the hours that they actually work. Uh, same thing on equipment. I come in here and I pick my, uh, I, thought I, knew the I thought I knew the number. Um, there's a blade. I need a, um, Paver, etc. Pick my rollers. I have that all in here. I put a description in the cost code. Now that's ready for the guy to actually put his hours in or we take them from exact time. I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work yet, but now I'm done. So I've got my schedule. I can print this out. I would probably, well, hang on. Um, it's going to make me put something in here so I better fill it out. Okay, so paving 2601. Uh, I think I got everything else filled out. So I'll go there, save this. Um, save this, hang on one second. 
Okay, so now if I want to print this, and it will look different, I'm just going to give you an example. Uh, so it shows them who they're supposed to take out, what equipment they're supposed to take out, uh, etc., what job they're going to, what have you. And I can put more description in here if you need to, uh, and maybe who the foreman's name is in here as well. But there's one from the estimate to an operations report, an operations report to the dis, you know the actual work instructions for the day. I very rarely touch the keyboard, uh, and obviously the question you guys had yesterday, uh, I can come right in here and say, Let's just take that out to my Outlook, email it to my guy. Uh, I can print it out if I want to. It's up to you, but uh, basically I went right from an estimate instead of a piece of paper. Went from that, did my quantity takeoff produce the estimate I didn't do the proposal because I haven't finished it yet that'll be something when we meet with you uh, we'll clear that up and get that exactly the way you want it uh, it goes to proposal I get the job I send it to operations operations determines who's gonna go uh, it all done off of the original data with that with very little rekeying or writing and again availability to, availability to email so quickly went through that but I, I know this will work for you guys it's just a matter of you know changing uh, around some of the ways you think uh, and um, I'm just going to go back into this job real quickly. I tid your name so nobody knows who you are. Uh, you know what? On this job, I need another something. I just go in here. Uh, I go to paving and surface. And you know what? I need uh, some crack fill. And I have uh, 178 feet of crack fill. Oops, missed a seven. 178 feet of crack fill. At a dollar a foot. I don't know what yours is. I recalculate it. Now that item's on there. You know what? I got something else I want to put on here. What else do I have? You know what? I need to do some soil poisoning. You know, maybe that's the same as your wheat killer. There's some soil poisoning. And I had 10,522 square feet. I can calculate that out. And that's... Uh, hang on a second. Yeah. So there it is. It's three thousand dollars, thirty cents a square foot. Probably too much, but again, I can add stuff on the fly here. If I just want to type in that purple sky hook, I can just type something in, put in a quantity, put in a price, and make the calculation. Uh, put my overhead and profit on it. So, bottom line is, this will work just the same as piece of paper, just a little different. Uh, but you get to use that information quite a few times. And like right here, if I know I'm going to buy this from a vendor. Uh, I don't know. If, let's see what I have. Concrete, sand, gravel. I'm going to buy that from Shamrock. I can now create a purchase order to Shamrock for 322 and a half tons at $65 a ton. And now I have a PO to receive in against. And so we can streamline a lot of the things that you guys are doing manually. I, I'm promising you, you'll be able to bid more. I think you'll be able to bid more accurately and have better information to provide down to the field. And what comes from that is better information coming back into the office. Uh, to make that full circle back to the estimator on how well they did. So I was tempted to keep this under eight minutes. I missed it. It's a little over. Uh, so again, love to talk to you guys again. Uh, maybe get Ellen on the phone, but I'd like you to take a look at this and see if this makes sense. If it does, let's go on to the next step. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you soon.